It's easy for VA buyers to think of their monthly mortgage payment as one flat bill to take care of every month. But your mortgage payment is really the sum of a handful of expenses related to buying and owning a home. Typically, your mortgage payment is made up of four distinct pieces. The first is principal. So you repay a portion of what you borrowed every month. This is known as your principal balance or principal for short. Second is interest. It costs money to borrow money. And so a portion of your payment covers the interest charges on the loan. Third are property taxes. Now as a service to borrowers, VA lenders will often collect a portion of your annual property tax bill every month. The lender or servicer puts those funds into an escrow account and then pays the bill on your behalf when it comes due. And last, homeowner's insurance. Mortgage lenders will require borrowers to have sufficient insurance on the property. And just like with property taxes, lenders will escrow a portion of your annual homeowner's insurance premium every month and make sure the bill gets paid when it's due. Home buyers will often see these four costs described as PITI, which stands for principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. This is the recipe for most mortgage payments. Now, essentially, you're paying one bill each month, just making one payment, but the funds get distributed two ways. One way is toward covering the principal and interest, the other chunk covering escrows for taxes and insurance. VA buyers who choose a fixed mortgage, a fixed rate on that loan, they lock in the principal and interest payments for the life of that loan, for the whole loan term. But it's critically important for borrowers to understand that the last two parts of their mortgage payment, property taxes and homeowner's insurance, these costs can change every year. And that means that your monthly mortgage payment, your overall PITI, that can increase or decrease every year, even if you have a fixed interest rate. Now, VA buyers with a fixed rate will pay the same amount toward principal and interest each month for the duration of the loan. But the relationship between the two changes over time. So when you first start repaying your loan, the interest portion represents the bulk of your overall principal and interest payment. Now, as the years go on, you slowly begin to pay more towards your principal loan balance. These typically even out about halfway through your mortgage term. And after that point, more of your payment starts going toward paying down principal rather than paying interest to your lender or servicer. So let's look at an example. So we'll say that you've got a 30-year VA loan at $250,000 and it's fixed at 4.5%. So this example we can use to calculate the monthly principal and interest payment. And on this example alone, it's $1,200. And, $66. and you can use an amortization calculator and get a look at the principal and interest payments for all 360 months of this loan term. Now to give you a sense of how your principal and interest payments shift over time, here's how this payment breaks down. So your very first mortgage payment, month one, here's the differential with how much is going toward principal versus interest on the P&I, that portion of your payment. At month 80, the differential is much closer to a break-even point. And it's at month 176, where principal finally starts to eclipse the interest charges. Now remember, while these numbers slowly shift over time, the total you owe for principal and interest does not change on a fixed rate loan. So even in month number 176, you're still paying the same $1,266 toward principal and interest for your mortgage payment. Now some VA homeowners choose to cut down on the interest they repay by making additional payments each month or throughout the course of a year toward their principal loan balance. Homeowners might be able to use bi-weekly mortgage payments through their lender or servicer or just earmark extra money over a course of a month or several months or throughout the year to help pay interest faster. Now, it's important for prospective VA buyers to understand that the principal and interest portions of your mortgage payment those are the only costs that your lender can control. The only costs. Lenders have no ability to influence these, property taxes and homeowner's insurance costs. Now, real estate property taxes usually help fund things like schools, libraries, police and fire departments, and other public services. Property tax rates can vary depending on where you're buying, the value of your home, and more. In some states, the average property tax bill could be under $1,000. But homeowners in more expensive parts of the country might pay more than $5,000. Property taxes are public records, and that means that buyers can see what a home seller paid in the previous tax year. But there are no guarantees when it comes to property tax rates. Taxing authorities can raise or lower rates every year. 
Also understand that some states provide property tax exemptions for disabled veterans and other VA homeowners. Talk with your state or local veteran offices for more information. Now, homeowner insurance premiums can depend on the home's value, where in the country you're buying, the deductible amount, and more. Some buyers might need separate policies to cover flooding or damage from wind and hail. Now, VA buyers can shop around for the best deal possible for homeowner's insurance, but understand that premiums for that can go up or down every year, even if you haven't filed an insurance claim. Now, when it comes to your mortgage payment, lenders and servicers will estimate your annual cost for property taxes and homeowner's insurance. Generally, they're going to take that total and divide it by 12, the number of months in the year, to figure out how much to escrow on a monthly basis. So, for example, let's say that you're your property tax bill is $2,500 and that your annual homeowner's insurance premium is $1,100. We'll just say that for the sake of round numbers. So really what lenders are going to do using the same example, they're going to take this and they're going to sum those and get $3,600. Divide it by 12 and you get $300 to be escrowed on a monthly basis for taxes and insurance. And we can actually look at this figure in our previous example to calculate the PITI, the monthly mortgage payment for our example loan. So if we use the same example loan, the $250,000 VA loan, 30 years fixed at 4.5%, and we factor in this, we're gonna calculate the monthly payment. So here's what it ends up looking like. You've got the principal and interest portions of your loan. So the P and the I, we already know, are 1266. And we're gonna add in the T and the I for escrows for taxes and insurance, and then this example borrower's monthly mortgage payment is $1,566. Now remember, you're not making separate payments every month to cover your PITI. There's just one single mortgage payment. The lender or servicer takes out and holds on to the portions for your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance and make sure that those bills get paid for you. Now lenders and servicers track homeowner's insurance and tax bill due dates and they work hard to accurately estimate your annual escrow needs. What can be challenging is that property tax and homeowner's insurance costs can change every single year, and sometimes they can change dramatically. Lenders know this though, and so at least once a year, they'll review your escrow history to help ensure that you're on track. If your property taxes or homeowner's insurance premiums increase, you're likely to see your monthly escrow amounts increase too. Conversely, if they decrease, you might get money back. Again, these costs are outside of a lender's control. Homeowners can certainly shop around for a new and cheaper homeowner's insurance policy. There are also avenues out there to appeal a property tax bill, but your lender or servicer cannot intervene or in any way change these costs. Property taxes and insurance are outside the realm of control for mortgage lenders. Now for VA home buyers, the broad takeaway is that even with a fixed rate loan, your monthly mortgage payment your PITI, it can change over time. But this isn't something your lender or mortgage servicer can fix. It's just part of the nature of property taxes and insurance costs.